This is Sciscape 371 and today we're going to look at using equations to create new text field columns in the node table. Let's go ahead and use the yeast perturbation sample network and we're going to be working in the node table. So let's go ahead and simplify this by hiding some of the columns. Selected columns are shown. We'll go ahead and deselect all of them and let's use name and degree click off of the interface and now we have just two columns. We're going to create a new column clicking on the plus, new single column of strings we'll call it new name and to begin making an equation you just click in the cell it'll activate this icon for equations click on that and you'll see all the familiar ma math equations uh, that you're used to seeing in addition to a lot of the text-based equations. Um, many of these will be familiar to you if you use equations and formulas in Excel. Focusing on the text-based equations, I'll just point out a few. There's concatenate, there's first, which will bring in the first of a list that can work on numeric or strings. There's left, which will give you the left number of characters in a string. And then similarly, there's last and right. And there's also substitute, uh, which can um, give you a new string that replaces some subsection, subset of text with new text. Um, there's also text, which will turn numeric values into text values in case you imported um, um, numbers as integers and you actually want them as strings. You can use the text equation to do that. Other than using this interface for seeing the names of functions, I actually don't recommend using the interactive builder. I find it to be sort of finicky and rarely get it to work. Um, so knowing that there's something called concatenate, that's what I want to use. I just click cancel here and I type in my equation just like you would in Excel. Concatenate and then I want to concatenate name. We use the dollar sign for column names. Uh, capitalization matters and then commas to separate what you want to concatenate. I want to have name and then degree. Um, I'm going to choose to have degree in parentheses, and so I need to provide a string here with a space and an open parens, and then a comma, and then degree. And then finally, a string uh, wrapping around a close parentheses, and then a final close parentheses for the equation itself. There's the format of my new name column that I want and I can right click on that and say apply to an entire column and um, to refresh it I click on the gear if it doesn't refresh refresh for you automatically and you can see I have a new name column here in case the text was sort of small here's the equation I typed in so all equations start with equals the name of the function is concatenate open parentheses and then in green are the column variables that I called out. The first one was name, separated by a column, a comma. In blue are the string characters that I inserted around um, the column values. And so in double quotes, I put a space and an open parens, comma, the degree value, comma, close parens, and then finally closing the function parens. And now it's a simple matter if I want to change uh, my labels now on my actual network to go to style, find the label, visual property, and switch from common over to my new name, pass through, and there we go. I now have the information from two columns, name and degree, captured into a new third column, and I'm using that as the new display column for the name attributes.